Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about transit Uranus conjunct one's natal Uranus, otherwise known, you could say, the uh, Uranus return, um, at least the most intense part of it. Now, we're talking about uh, transit centered on Uranus, and about uniqueness, what's unorthodox, unconventional, disruptions freedom and independence when you have transit uranus conjoin your own uh, natal uranus could manifest in a lot of uniqueness what's unusual unorthodox could be disruptions and even uh freedom and the thing about this is uh in, when it hits the natal uranus it could be in friendships it could be a time where maybe you might be trying to get away from your friends a little bit more. Remember, if you have this transit, I mean, you're going to be at or around 84 years old. Most people don't experience this because I know at least United States, the average age, I believe, is something like 77, 78 years old as far as you know, the age longevity goes for an average, even average American. I don't know what the average age is for all countries. But I would say it's under half actually experiences. If you have this trans, you're actually very fortunate that you, you actually live uh, with this. But I mean, to actually experience this, and when you have this transit, of course, this could be something. I mean, where what it does is it reflects that you've had, that you've experienced uh, things that were very, in many cases, experienced things that were very new, very unique and uh, all in the 12 astrological uh, sectors of your chart and uh, or you can call them the 12 astrological sectors of life um, because you have 12 houses and each one does represent a different aspect or sector of life now this could be about getting um it might be getting some involvement with some unusual group it could be something where you're you might even be trying to get away from society, remember that Uranus is connected with freedom and independence, and also too, it might even be some disruptions toward your future. Remember when you're having uh, this transit, and you're, you're at around 84 years old, you're obviously going to someone's going to be around an older person, an elderly person, and there might be you know some unexpected, you know, surprising debilitation that could occur. For example, that might affect. At one's future, if it's somebody that's been working to an older age, it might be something that might happen which might stop that person, uh, prohibit that person from doing so. But it could also be also dealing with maybe more unusual uh, friendships and going outside the box, so to speak, and, and who one wants to be acquainted with. And at the same time, as well, this could also uh, manifest in dealing. Um, Really, uh, you could say, I mean, Uranus is connected with the unorthodox and unusual. So it could be dealing with friends or acquaintances that might be a little bit more unorthodox or unusual at this time, and also ones that might be expressing altruism, more altruism and selflessness, more so than usual uh, at this time. And it could also be about having freedom from things that might be to you a little bit unusual or unorthodox. If it's in the same sixth house, it could be something in the daily routine. Um, an employment situation that might be you know, a little bit erratic or sporadic. And it can be a time to, you know, looking at this as well, this could be something that could, uh, I mean, Uranus is very spontaneous energy. When you have this transit hitting your own, the few out there that have this transit hitting your own um, Uran uh, natal Uranus, it can be a period that could be very surprising, of course, one that has a lot of uh, spontaneity at this time. And the thing about this, too, is keep in mind Uranus is also associated with computers and electronics. And it can be a time where maybe you're, you're more into the new newer technology that's associated with this. If you're somebody, again, you're going to be an older person. Obviously, if you have this transit, you're going to be at you know, 84 years old or around there. 
and you're going to, you might, like say you have this in the fourth house or in the zodiac sign cancer, it might be something where you're trying to really get your home revved up with all the you know, innovative modern uh, alarm systems, computerized electronic alarm systems if you haven't done so uh, previously into uh, anatomically speaking, Uranus is connected with the ankles, the shins, calves, and uh, nerves, and also circulation. So something could happen uh, that's rather unexpected or antis unanticipated with one or more of these Uranus of physically related issues. It might be a time, too, where you might be want to have some independence and freedom from maybe even chaos. Uh, if there's something that's been in your life that's been a little bit chaotic and it's been very unpredictable, you know, let's say if you've had you know, people coming and going in your home unpredictably and you don't really, it's something that you be, it's become monotonous and tiresome, this could be the time where you, maybe you're trying to extricate yourself from that kind of uh, situation. And it could also denote, in some cases, unusual, just general unusual health issues. It could be something that comes very uh, spontaneously, uh, very shockingly, uh, and you know, this is just the way it could manifest and pan out. Now, it could be a time too where friendships uh, may be more prominent in uh, could be in so your social networking, social media, uh, the internet. Uh, more so than usual, and maybe even play more of an integral role in your future. And even if you're doing something innovative late, very late in life, of course it would be. And uh, they might, it could be where, where these people, a friend might collaborate with you on something that's like a very innovative type of project. And also, too, friendships may be more radical uh, than usual, and friendships and acquaintances might come along unpredictably. Because keep in mind, when you, when you do have this transit, not to be redundant with this, but when you do have this transit, when you're an you know, older person around 84 or you know, at or around 84 years old, you know, people might come along unexpectedly to show, express altruism toward you, help you selflessly. They may just come out of the blue because that's what people often will do for, all, for older people. And this is also, I mean, say, um, if this is in Sagittarius, it could be, Know, a friendship that you know, that might be it could be somebody that's a sports um, you know sports fan and there might be um, I mean as far as uh, you know, these people might be you know, into sports or it could be something with religion or philosophy and um, again this is something where I mean when we look at this as well another way I mean this could be expressed you might again, it could be a time where many may extricate because Uranus is connected with freedom and independence. It could be extrication from society. Uranus could be connected with society or societies because it may be a time more for isolation and where you just want to have more time to just kind of be alone at this time more so than usual and have your peace and your quiet. Now, it could also be a time where altruism, which is connected with Uranus, might be expressed. It could be through computers, electronics, ingenuity, astrology, whether it might be expressed toward you, or you might express this toward other people. I mean, it could be where, I mean, you're talking about um, you know, whether you might be you know, knowledgeable about computers, for example, and helping uh, somebody that's having uh, difficulties with their computer, they got a virus on it, you're trying to, you might help them troubleshoot it, or maybe the same thing happens, uh, goes in reverse, and somebody does that uh, for you. And it could also be getting away, again, Uranus being associated with freedom and independence, freedom from something that might be a little bit bizarre, it might be unusual or unorthodox, say this is in Libra, uh, and or the seventh house as an example, it could be through some kind of marriage or relationship that might have been you know, something that you just didn't want anymore. Maybe it was something that it was just based on common law, for example, and the person didn't really want to tie the knot uh, officially, and this was something that you just didn't want anymore. 
as an example. And also, too, uh, Uranus could be connected with accidents. So this could manifest in some cases as an accident. That may be Uranus-related. It could be electrocution in some cases. Could something with uh, computers or some kind of electrical fire. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway, I mean, this could be also, too, um, you know, in isolated cases, I mean, Uranus is connected with sudden change, it could be a sudden change, unanticipated change, and something physically related to Uranus, you know, something with the ankles, the calves, the shins, the nerves, something with circulation, it could be some bizarre or unusual growth or protrusion. Um, say, I mean, you're talking about, again, going back to the Uranus return, the fact that this is the most intense point of it. I mean, in some cases it, it won't be, because in isolated cases, of course, you could have transit Uranus conjoin your natal Uranus, and they could be in different signs. For example, let's say if somebody's Uranus is at, um, uh, is at one degree cancer. So one degree of the zodiac sign cancer, you could have transit Uranus making an applying conjunction to it at 29 degrees Gemini. And it would be two degrees away. It would be an applying conjunction, but it would be in a different sign. But anyway, but when you have a Uranus return, I mean, it's basically, again, it's traversed all 12 houses and you've experienced uniqueness and newness in the 12 astrological sectors of life. It shows that there's a, you know, a completion of all of these phases and you may likely have some self-satisfaction as a result of this at this point in time and uh, you know, as far as actually going through all these different phases. And the thing about it is uh, most people Again, do not have it because it does take 84 years to make uh, the return. And those people that actually do have you have accomplished something pretty monumental. The simple fact that you actually made it, you know, that far, and you've lived, you know, and if somebody's living to 84 years or older, then it basically, I mean, what it tells me is they probably, in most cases, they were healthier than average, and I'd say kudos uh, to them. And Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.